Hello everybody, this is Paweł Paczkowski with Graphite's production. Today's effect is inspired by Marvel's Doctor Strange teaser. If you didn't see it yet, you can check it out on Marvel Entertainment YouTube page. And this is what we are going to be creating today. Before we even jump into the After Effects, we obviously need to record some clips. Uh, in our case, it's going to be two clips. The first clip is of uh, Actor A hitting, punching, pushing Actor B. Uh, I call it an uh, impact clip. And the second one is of our Actor B on the green screen, kind of sitting on the chair, floating around. Um, we basically rotate the chair about... 20 degrees the most um, and that's our our clip that I call uh, ghost or spirit soul energy all right so after opening your footage in after effects drop it onto your timeline go to presets and effects type uh, time warp grab the effect and drop it onto your footage. Uh, we won't want to worry about speed right now, 50 is fine and basically what this does is it's slowing down the footage, it's creating the extra frames. Pre-compose the layer and uh, go to the tracker tab, uh, click track motion and uh, choose position and scale. Now we have two track points we want to find a area with a high contrast basically uh, it's gonna be easier for the software to uh, track the footage if the contrast is high after we set our track points hit analyze forward the software gonna analyze the footage and there we go uh, we're gonna create null object and we're gonna edit target in the tracker tab and we're gonna make sure that we choose the null one hit ok and apply and we want X and Y right now we will worry about our green screen footage we will drop it down to, drop it down onto the timeline At, in the effects and presets we'll type key light We'll grab the effect and drop it onto our green screen footage. By using the pick tool, we're gonna pick a green that we want to remove from the footage. And view, we'll choose screen matte. And in the tab screen matte, we'll uh, clip all the blacks by increasing the value and decrease the uh, value to clip the whites. Basically what we're trying to do is getting rid of all the gray. All you want is black and white. To soften the edge a little bit, go to screen softness and increase the value by 5. Go to view and final result. Mask out any other unnecessary objects. And now we will parent the ghost footage to our null object that contains all the tracking data. Okay, so go to the ghost footage, go to transform and position. Click on the stopwatch to create the uh, keyframe. Move the footage, the object, the actor into the starting position go to the end of the footage and move the actor into the end position and click on the motion blur tab Pre-compose the layer. In effects and presets type time warp once again. Grab the effect and drop it onto our 
uh, layer that we just pre-composed. Duplicate the layer two times. Uh, my machine unfortunately is slow so I will have to reduce the preview to a quarter of a quality. Right now we will set the speed of all three layers to 200. We want the we want the, all the three layers to start at 200 speed. Okay, so we will move a few seconds forward on the timeline and we will reduce the speed for our first layer. Uh, the idea is to have three layers that are gonna start with the same speed but gonna slow down at different points of a timeline. Basically we want the first layer to slow down in the first one third of the footage the second one in the second one third and then the last one we wanted to slow down all the way on the end of the timeline. Now we will do the same thing with opacity. Uh, the first layer we want the opacity to decrease in the first half. The second layer we want the opacity to decrease in the middle. And the third layer we want the opacity to decrease on the end. By having all those three layers uh, decreasing the speed in different parts of the timeline and decreasing the opacity in different parts of the timeline, we created this echo effect. Select all three layers and pre-compose them. decrease the opacity of our new layer in effects and presets type tint grab the effect and drop it onto our new layer for map white 2 choose a light yellow color and map, map black to choose a uh, oranges almost brown uh, color amount to tint put about 80 duplicate the layer search for the blur effect and drop it onto the bottom layer increase the blur blurriness Search for contrast and brightness, also drop it on the bottom layer and increase the brightness. 
Alright, I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope those tips uh, will make you come up with your own effects and ways of using the tools in After Effects. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you didn't like it, comment as well. Let me know what you didn't like. Uh, let me know how to improve the future tutorials. And I talk to you soon.